so this is kind of a diy video <laughs> hi guys i'm black welcome back to my channel my name is louis Ihoifo. so if this is your first time here on my channel here on this channel i create hair content lifestyle content and vlog so please don't forget to subscribe before you leave and also give this video a very big thumbs up like my other videos watch them share them with your friends and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you always be notified whenever I post a video. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys. As you guys can see, I am in my wash station. So I have all my shampoos and conditioners lined out behind me. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to revamp a, a bone straight hair and also how to revamp a curly hair. And I'll be also be sharing with you guys how to take out glue properly from a frontal so it can look really nice and clean. I know a lot of us are having issues trying to, you know, clean out or take out glue from a frontal. But in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to do that. So all the steps I'm going to be sharing with you guys is very easy. Something you can actually do at home yourself, just in case you, you don't want to take it to a salon. So if this sounds like what you're interested in, this video is definitely for you and you need to keep watching. So you guys, first up, we're going to start with the bone straight. So usually before I put water on, put the hair in water, I like to detangle the hair first because you wouldn't want to, you know, have the hair all frizzy and tangled so you have to detangle the hair first so that's what i am doing so i'm just using my comb so this is the comb i'm using it's a hairbrush we all know this regular hairbrush so i'm going to use it to like detangle the hair first next step i'm going to get a bowl that i'm going to put water because this uh, my washer doesn't have the cover here so we're going to use the bowl to save water so this is the bowl the famous bowl if you watch my videos um some of my coloring videos you notice i use this um thing to you know wash so you guys are going to be pouring or putting some amount of water into the bowl So you guys, we have enough water that will be enough to, you know, like wash the hair. So now I'm going to be getting my shampoo. So this is the shampoo I am using. I already have it in a dispenser. So I'm just going to put a little in the, in the bowl that has water in it. So I'm going to just wash my hands inside it. So then afterwards, I'm going to get the hair I already brushed out to detangle. Remember guys, always brush the hair before you put it inside. So now I'm going to, you know, fold the hair like this and I'm dip it into the water that has um, the shampoo. So when I dip, I use my hands to like squeeze, dip again. So now we're going to focus on the, the weak cap because that's where you have like all the sweat and everything. So we're going to wash it. So this time I'm going to like wash this part like I'm washing a cloth because it's obviously a cloth. So I'm going to dip and then so when I'm doing this, I'm not putting so much pressure. So you just go gently, just press, squeeze and press. So keep doing it to make sure all the build ups on the hair or in the hair are taking out hey. 
Okay, so guys, it's time for the curly hair. So um, remember when we did for the bone straight, I combed it, but we are not going to comb this now because um, we still want it to like retain its curls and come back to its actual state. So we're just going to use our my hand to finger comb the hair just to make sure we untangle everything that has been, you know, kicked up. So when you're doing this, you have to be very careful because um, curly hairs, they tend to like damage fast. So now I'm going to repeat the same step I did for the bone straight. I'm just going to dip it into the water. I'm going to use the same technique. You dip, squeeze. So this is like the first stage of um, the revamp. So it's up to you to wash the hair, you know, as many times as possible. But usually I like to wash three times with my shampoo before I now rinse it. So we're going to go to the, the wig cap now and then do the same thing we did earlier. So let me show you guys what the water looks like. You see, I'll, I'm going to pour my shampoo inside the water again, just like we did earlier. Then I'm going to get the bone straight one and then repeat the same technique. So I'm going to get the curly one now and then do the same. So now I'm going to put my shampoo inside this time, just like this, and then put water. So this is the third wash before we can now rinse and then head on to condition it. So you guys, I'm trying to rinse or I'm rinsing the hair. So I'm just putting water in it. And um, for this process, like the whole re revamping process, you can use um, lukewarm water. You can use like regular room temperature. I don't use hot water. The only time I use hot water is when I want to take out the glue from the lace, which I'm also going to be showing you guys in this video today. So just stay tuned and enjoy the process. So this is the second rinse before our conditioner.
with the bowl close to you guys so you can see the water so this is it it's still sparkling so this is to tell or to show that our hair is clean and ready for deep conditioning so you guys i have here my silicone mix it's a hair treatment to restore the health shine and the softness of dry damaged and weak hair first i'm going to use my argan oil on the hair so i'm going to use a small amount so usually this is how this is the amount i use so i'm just going to apply it on the hair so it helps to keep the hair moisturized and silky afterwards. And also I like to focus on the tip, or the tips rather, cause this is the driest part of the hair. So then I'm going to get my silicone mix like this and then apply from here and down to the tips. So I'm going to make sure it enters every part of the hair so usually when i am applying my silicone mix i like to use it generously because this is what will keep the hair really silky and you know help make the hair new so i'm going to get my comb now and then carefully loosen the hair or detangle the hair so when you're working on the part, the closure or the frontal part is always advisable to be gentle. You don't apply pressure on that part because if you do, you will pay for hair. Or... So now I'm going to run my brush all over the hair. So if you guys noticed how I started, I combed this out and stopped here. So now I'm going to focus on the tip like this and then take everything out. So let's move on to the curly one. So we're going to get um, the oil first. And apply it on the hair. Then we're going to get the silicone mix and then put it generously so now for this curly hair i'm going to just fold everything together and then go to the tips so we're going to start brushing from the tips so you use this method to like detangle everything this is going to help the hair not you know like go off so you see this is all i have on my brush from the first hair so we're now on the second hair i'm actually going to leave this so you guys can see um that it didn't really take out the hair from both hairs 
comb carefully don't rush it just enjoy the process so you guys this is what it looks like So when working with frontal, you have to be extremely patient and I advise people not to to work on frontals when they are upset because you're just <laughs> going to mess the whole thing up. We're going to take out the hair from the the brush so this is everything most of it um, came out from the curly hair so guys this is what the curly hair looks like now after using my silicone mix so you guys can see my hands are passing freely into the hair and you know it's so beautiful So now I'm going to get a bag and then put the both of them inside the bag. So we're going to leave this for 24 hours. So I'm going to come back here and then wash the hairs out and then dry it. So basically this step takes um, up to okay we wash today condition then leave it tomorrow wash it out tomorrow and dry so guys it's time for cleaning up so this is what the hair looks like currently yeah so this is what it looks like and i have a dry towel here so i'm going to start by placing the hair like this and then i'm going to hold the towel like this and then from inside to outside like this carefully so you're going to keep pushing and taking out the glue So you guys, let me show you. This is the glue from this one. So you can see this part has no glue and this part there's glue on this part. So this is free, you guys can see it. So there's no glue on this part, but there's glue here, see? So we're going to Repeat the same step till we're good. So in order to avoid those white white um, particles that comes with um, the thing after putting them in, putting the hair in water, you have to take out the glue first. So you guys, I have hot water here, like I literally cooked this water. So I'm going to get my shampoo and then drop a little inside it. So now I'm going to get the hair, hold the frontal 
the part I have the frontal part rather hold everything together so it's optional you can use a rubber band to hold it on the side but I usually don't do that so I'm going to dip it into the water so you can clean it out very well all the makeup the spray this is going to help it help it like go off thoroughly so I'm going to leave this inside the water for five minutes and then I'm going to come back and wash it out So I've taken out the glue from the lace and this is what it looks like. You guys can see how clean it is. So I'll be using the same technique I used for the bone straight and the curly hair on this one. So you guys, I just took it out after three days, so I, I'm going to show you guys this is what it looks like. I have not even rinsed the hair out, so um, the curly hair is really given. So you guys can see how um, the strands are visible compared to, you know, um, the way it came. So now I'm just going to dip into my water and then you know dry it out so then afterwards i'm going to repeat the same step for the other hair then change the water and also do the same thing So I'm going to get my argan oil and then put a small amount. So I really love this argan oil because it's um, very lightweight and it's very consistent. So I think that's one of the reasons why I like it. So I'll be using my Hawaiian Silky 14 in 1 leave-in conditioner on the hair. So I'm going to spray a little on the hair and then get my brush and brush the hair. So I'm going to be repeating the same step for the other two hairs and voila we're done
So you guys, this is the straightener from the hair by any brand. So I'm going to just take it out of the carton and then show you guys what it looks like. So right here he has the on and off buttons so um, by the side you can see the um, regulator so you can regulate it from high to low or from low to high depending on how hot you want it. So you guys here is the hair by any um straightener so i i'm going to also try this in this video so you guys can see um the results yourself so um this is what it looks like so it also has the on and off um, button then also a regulator where you can increase it or reduce it So now this is the hair after we dried it so i'm going to wear it on my canvas head and then get my tip in and then pin it down so then up next i'm going to get my heat protectant spray and then spray it on the hair so um if you know me well on this channel i don't like to use heat um on a hair without using a heat protectant spray so um i'm going to spray generously on the hair and then get my hand dryer and then do a soft blow dry so I'm going to also get my control pin and a blow dry brush. So now I'm going to section the hair after doing the soft blow dry and then blow dry it properly. So I'm going to go intense on the hair. So by the way, that's how I put my control pins and the hair brush, sorry, the blow dry brush I'll be working with. So I'm going to section the hair into beads because it works better or you get a nicer result when you take out the hair you know like little so i'm going to hold it that way my brush and then put the dryer and then go carefully and then straighten the hair out so i'm going to be blow drying and straightening with the hair by any straightener just to make sure everything is all smooth <laughs>
I'll be using the hair by any wax stick to like pull all the flyaways together. So um, I'm going to just apply it gently because I really don't like to put so much product on a hair. So once I'm done with this, I'm going to get the hair by any hot comb and then use it to like flatten that part. So before I go in, you guys take a close look at the before. So once I'm done with this, you compare it to the other side and see if this is really effective. 
So my honest review for this product, the straightener and the hot comb is 100%. So I love the outcome after I used it. So to purchase yours, you can just send them a DM. I'm also going to leave um, a link to their Instagram in the description below. So just tell them you're coming from me or you're coming from Lily and you get a discount. So for the curly hair, I'll be starting with my Curlala and the 14-in-1 Miracle Worker. So these products will help the hair remain really silky and also help to like retain and define the curl. So I'm going to wear it on my canvas block and then pin it down with the T-pin. So then I'll be starting with the Curlala. So I'm going to apply um, a small portion on the hair. So then after that, I'm going to walk my hands through it and then get the 14 in 1 so to help define the curls very well i'm going to like press the hair from the tip and down to the whole hair so i'm trying to use the um, 14 and 1 it's not coming out so the reason is because um, it's really thick I don't like to dilute um, mine when I get it because it works better so I'm going to get the wax stick from the hair by any brand and then use a little on the frontal so you guys have watched me do the first frontal so I didn't put a part because I don't know what part she would want to do when she come for installation or when she she's ready to wear the hair so I'm going to gently use my hot comb from the hair by any brand and then make the front really flat. And that's it for today's video. I hope it was really insightful and you guys really enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're yet to do that. And also don't forget to give this video a very big thumbs up. Like my other videos, watch them, share them with your friends and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you always be notified whenever I post a video. So is there anything you'd want to see here on this channel? Please don't forget to leave it in the comments below and I promise you guys I'm going to come through. So I love you all to the moon and back and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!